Rafikis! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is the 6th of October. Happy Sunday. I hope you're getting a good start into the month of October. I sure am. Yesterday, my husband and I went to the Champagne Festival at Old Mutual Country Club and ooh, it was so nice. Everyone that attended will tell you what a wonderful time it was. Such a beautiful event. We don't get enough events like those in Ventsburg and I'm so happy that I went. I was there with my husband. I got to meet some of you guys, some of my subscribers and it was so nice to say hi to everyone and to hear people telling me, oh my gosh, I watch your YouTube channel. I've done this, I've done that. It was really nice to meet a lot of you and a big shout out to everyone who was able to uh, get a chance to chat with yesterday. I also bumped into Woven, my favorite Namibian YouTuber. You guys should have, head over to her channel she's uh, it's woven yeah it's woven well, it's woven on YouTube and check out her new video she's got amazing stuff guys especially if you're an avid traveler and trying to expand your visit into the greater part of Namibia please go out and check her channel tell her I sent you so for today's video I'm going to be showing you seven hacks on how to make your home smell nice some of them you won't believe it's just so simple it's one of those things that you don't think about and then when you realize it you're like wow okay I've been sitting on something good here anyways I hope you enjoy the video uh, at the end of the video I'll be showing you how to make your own linen spray how to make your own towel spray uh, using really simple products and I hope that you'll get an opportunity to try this for your own home and please let me know in the comments below how it works out for you what are some of the items you're going to be trying in your own home it's always really nice to hear from you guys thank you so much for watching again I appreciate you and have a good day So hack number one to making your house smell beautiful is flowers, in particular the Casablanca lily. These are flowers I got from Woolworths. So this Casablanca lily comes close like this behind as you can see here and then it opens up and when it opens up it's got these amazing buds that open and then these are scentful and assuming you're not allergic to flowers guys, these are really good at making your house smell nice because when they open up like this then that scent that is carried by the the pots there is just um, filled into uh, filled out into the air and they smell nice I always love coming home and getting a whiff of this in my kitchen so this is hack number one flowers particularly the Casablanca lily if you know of any other flowers that really smell your house make your house smell nice let me know in the comments below but this is my hack Casablanca lilies Hack number two is actually my favorite natural based way to make my house smell nice. Pineapples. This tropical fruit smells amazing. It's one of those things you put in a vase, you put it on a, on your kitchen counter and you walk into your kitchen and it smells so tropical and so exotic. I love it. It's so easy to use. I bought these from Spa. They were $25 on sale. I think you can also purchase them from fruit and veg uh, around about the same price. I personally don't eat pineapples. I'm allergic to them, but the people in my house make use of them once they go dry like this. Once I can no longer really smell them, then they use them for their smoothies, etc. But this is really easy and uh, the beauty is that you can make use of it once you have finished utilizing it for its fragrance. Before you guys ask, let me tell you about these vases. Actually, these bowls. So these are bamboo bowls. I purchased them from Mr. Price Home last week. The range, be uh, Their price range uh, is between $189 to $300. I really love the fact that this one is footed here on the left. I love the color. They are nice and sturdy and they've got a wide variety. So go get you some. And then I've just got my four lemons in here. Hack number three is just burning incense sticks. So these I purchased in Kenya, like I mentioned before. These are citronella infused incense sticks. And what I do is I basically put it on a tray, a little tray here, so I'm able to catch the ash up in here. And then I usually just place mine in a tot glass and I lean it over like that. And then I just light it. Hack number four is to burn scented candles. My favorite are from at home. I love these natural candles. Uh, these I purchased, this I purchased from at home. Uh, this is the flavor. This is Coast Berry Beach Leaf. And the price for this one is $329. And it's quite big. So this is how it looks like. 
um, and what I like is that after you burn the candle you can just clean it out and use it as a vase so I really like that and it's soy based candle which I love because that's a more natural candle and it's less it's more environmentally friendly than normal pet, is it paraffin or petroleum candles uh, I also have this one that I burn occasionally I got this from Woolworths I'm not sure this I'm not certain this is soy based no it's, it's not soy based this is the normal uh, paraffin candle I think it's footed which I love and I also use it occasionally just as a deco element and this one I bought for 229 and again when I finish with this candle I'm going to use it as a vase to put some nice little things inside or whatever and what I like to do is before my guests arrive I'll put one of these candles in the bathroom in the guest toilet or the guest bathroom and it will just get the toilet smelling nice and also if anyone needs to go and take a boo-boo in your bathroom the scent <laughs> the burning candle uh, helps to alleviate the the odors that may come from them boo-booing so that's a good trick uh, I've seen it be uh, seen it used at hotels and I basically incorporated it into my house so Burn your candles, guys. Burn your candles. Hack number five is my air diffuser. This I love. I purchased this a couple of months ago from uh, at home. It's my Aura air diffuser. This was a little bit pricey, but it's so effective. I'm getting a lot of good use out of this. So this is an air diffuser. It's electronic. You plug it into your power socket. You put some water inside and then you put in drops of your favorite essential oil. I love this because not only is it an air diffuser, but I also use it to purify the air. When my son is having a cold or flu, I put essential oils in here, eucalyptus or peppermint oil in here. And then that helps to just clean out his airways and help him breathe better so I'm getting a lot of good use out of this I purchased it for 1600 I believe it's quite easy to use like I said you put water in there uh, just by the water line and then you you infuse it then with your with your essential oils this is the aura French whisper oil that I purchased it with then I've also got a sandalwood oil that I like to make use of when I'm having guests over I'll put this maybe in my kitchen or in my living room and just a few drops inside the water and it's good to go what I love about this diffuser is also that I can use it as a night light for my son. You put on the, you switch it on there, then it starts diffusing the air. And then you switch it on on the other side and then it's got a light, nice soft ambient light that you can also alternate between a flickering light and then just a normal uh, steadfast light. I really like this. Expensive, but I'm getting my money's worth for this. Hack number six is the reed diffuser. I think a lot of us make use of these in our homes. I remember when they came out, everybody was purchasing them. So I started purchasing mine from at home. And then ultimately, eventually I felt like they were not really giving me the scent that I needed. It's two or three days and then you just don't smell it anymore. I would purchase them from at home and then get the refill. Then I also started getting refills from Sheet Street. It smells nice in the shop. You get home, you're not smelling it anymore. So I started investigating uh, a more um, a, a better lasting fragrance and then I stumbled upon this one in poetry this is the poetry number 51 lemongrass now how much is it okay please don't judge me I'm going to explain why I spent this money so this one was 440 million dollars it's a lot of money I know but I was convinced that this product was what I needed after I tested it in the shop and went back there and I could smell still still smell it so the beauty with this and why I think it's such a good product is because of the reed sticks that they have in here. I don't think they are reed sticks exactly, but that's just what these type of diffusers are called. The material that these sticks are made with, I think, is the, is the secret behind why it smells so good. I had this in our entryway and then it was too concentrated, the smell there. Then I had to move it upstairs and then I move it back down to the living room. So I use it all over my house. I basically alternate like three days here, three days there and three days there. Even my husband noticed... Here I'm just showing you the material, how flexible it is, and I really think this is the secret to what makes this diffuser so successful at keeping its scent for long. I've been using it for four months. As you can see, there's still a lot of liquid in there. I think I've got at least two months left out of this. It's one of the best purchases I've made. Expensive, but it's well worth your money. For things like this, you ultimately get what you pay for, and it was a lot of money, but I do believe that I'm getting the most out of I've, the most out of uh, the most that I've ever gotten from a diffuser, a home diffuser, with this one. It's an excellent product, and I got this from Poetry.
Hack number seven is this oil burner. I purchased mine for nine dollars from Pepom. I was so excited when I bought it. I thought it was going to be phenomenal. A bit disappointed. I also purchased the oil that I'm using to burn here from Pepom. I think it was twelve dollars. Honestly, it does nothing. I couldn't pick up a single cent from it. So I would recommend that you invest in a higher quality oil carrier oil uh, probably from mr Bryson. they've got some good ones and then you burn that one but this is also quite good in making your room smell nice if you're using an effective oil that is so for today's diy we're going to be making our own um bed linen and towel spray using very simple products the first thing you're going to need are spray bottles i purchased these they were a bunch of six and I purchased these from Westpac, they were $90 for six, so that's about $15 each. And you're going to need witch hazel. I purchased this from this game, this was $50, and I just bought a single bottle, which I'm going to share between the two bottles. And then, of course, your essential oils, uh, these are on sale at clicks three for two, and then you're going to need water. So the process is quite simple, you're just going to mix everything together. I start with the first bottle, and what I did is I just mixed uh, half of the bottle of the witch hazel into the spray bottle. So half in the first bottle and half in the second bottle. And then after you do that, you're going to put in your water, and then you're going to put in your essential oils. It's very easy to do, and this saves you so much money because bed linen in the shops can be quite expensive. I know that uh, in at home they sell it for more than $100. So. This is a really easy DIY to do and it's going to save you some pennies. So I'm just filling up that bottle then and you notice that I'm making two spray bottles. So one is for the linens and then one is for the towel spray. The towel spray is um, using, I think I use citrus essential oils, lemon grass or lemon essential oils, I can't remember. And I used that because I wanted it to be invigorating and then for the bed linen spray, I used something more calming. I didn't have... The idea was to use lavender, I didn't have that, so I ended up using eucalyptus, which is also good because then it clears up and clears up and opens up your airways. So after you filled up your bottles with the rich haze of the water, you're then going to take your essential oil. This is the lemon organic oil and I'm using that for the towel uh, spray and you're adding 30 drops. You can use more, you can use less depending on how concentrated you want it to be. So I'm just adding this to the top and then I'm going to shake the bottles and make sure that I mix everything well. So that's for the towels and then for the bed spray, for the lemon spray, I use, like I said, I was trying, I, I thought I had lavender but I didn't have that so I used eucalyptus oil then I did the same I just put 30 drops of that I just used 30 drops of that into the bottle
So I thought I'd demonstrate to you guys how to make use of the linen spray in your linens. I'm in my daughter's room over here and I was just spritzing her, um, her pillowcases just to make them smell nice for her. So what you do is you just take your linens and you just spray it directly onto there. You can also spray it onto your sheets when you're ironing. That actually works better and then the, the scent actually holds longer once you do that. What I like about my linen spray is also that when I've got wrinkles in my baby, you just spray it on there. Then you're able to fluff out the wrinkle with your hand. So it's very good for for refreshing your linens your towels and it's just it's it's also really just a nice thing to come to when you're, you've had a long day you lie down in your sheets and you've got this beautiful amazing smell coming through your linens so you can also use it as an air refreshener by simply just spritzing it into the air it's smells I use I use it for my linens I use it for my towels and it's really such a nice touch for your guests when they're coming over it just makes them feel special and makes them feel treated that was the video i hope you were able to identify with some of the hacks that i mentioned especially the pineapples like who would have thought pineapples guys they're really really easy to incorporate into your home to make sure that it smells extra nice and extra special and i hope that you're able to make use of the other hacks that i mentioned in this video i also hope that you'll try the bed linen spray so let me know how that goes for you and any other tips that you may have for me i also like to learn from you guys you know Anyways, I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead of you. I hope that you have a wonderful October. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Mwah.